Okay, hey guys, everybody, welcome to team training. Um, tonight it is what the uh, 12th of November. My goodness, we are almost halfway through the month. Can you believe it? So, uh, tonight I wanted to talk about very quickly. Um, I asked in becoming more, um, you know, some different ideas for training, um, what you're struggling with, whatever that is. And so, I encourage you if you're something that you're struggling with to uh, drop it in becoming, becoming more, reach out to us and um, you know, we can always do an, an extra training on it or the weekly training on it. So, um, Lori put in there today that, um, kind of, you know, how to overcome fear and, um, get moving, you know, and take to, you know, and, um, grow your business, um, essentially. And so, you know, I thought that was kind of interesting because I know there's a lot of people and I was that way too. I was really scared. Um, and it held me back from doing stuff. And so, um, you know, the first thing that I want to say is, Fear, if you break that down from an acronym standpoint, um, and I, I like this, is face everything and rise, right? And so if you view it as, you know what, this is just something that I'm just going to face it. I'm going to rise up and I'm going to do something about it. And so that's the next thing is absolutely take action. And, you know, something that I think is helpful is so when it comes to network marketing and it comes to growing your business and taking action, what is it? that you are so fearful of? What is it that has you scared? And I think if you ask yourself that and you're able to identify that and put it into words, it's easier to overcome. Um, and so for example, for me, I was fearful of making people angry. I was fearful of people not liking me. I was fearful of looking stupid. So those were some of the big fears, like when I really, what's preventing me from taking action in my business, those were those things, right? And so how was I going to overcome that? Well, that comes down to what was my why, right? So my why was absolutely to get home with my kids and to bring my, and now to, you know, to bring my husband home and to be successful and to be proud of what I'm doing in the business that I'm growing. And so that overcame <laughs> that overshadows everything else. And then I really had to look at it was like, why do I care what people think? Why am I living in this world? And I'm not going to make anybody angry. Like who cares? And so you have to really take yourself, divorce yourself from the outcome. And so when I'm reaching out to people and I'm sharing this opportunity or sharing the product and you know, my joy for it, if it's not for them, it doesn't matter. And that's okay. Right? So I encourage you to look at it at at what your fear is really analyze that and put some words to that and then that way you can say or whatever um maybe how it's not realistic how it doesn't make sense um and how you're going to overcome it okay so the biggest thing guys is getting rid of your fear is to take action so every time that you are fearful of doing something within your business you need to do it you need to do that thing right? And so in order to grow a network marketing business, you've got a prospect. And if you're not prospecting, you're not going to grow. So you need to figure out a way to do that. And I've done a lot of different trainings on that. Messenger is so easy for that. So you can go back and look at some of those. But then the other thing is, is, is that you need to have a daily mode of operation, right? You need to have your daily actions and we have covered this before and Heather has some I have some we've shared them we will share the um, checklist again in becoming more but essentially and you can break it down into threes or fives or tens or whatever but it's posting and becoming you right or testimony group daily these are daily actions and when you take daily action it helps you overcome that fear and move forward. And so you still might be fearful as you're doing actions, but as you continuously do an action every day and you just follow your daily actions checklist before you know it, it's just what it is. And those little things aren't so fearful anymore, right? And so those actions are um, posting daily and becoming you, following up daily and becoming you, checking comments, right? Tagging people, those things. So really quick, these things that you guys can do in like, 15, 30 minutes max, right? Um, making a post, a daily post, 
whether or not that's on Facebook, whether or not that's business related, product related, or just lifestyle, right? So you want to have 80% of your Facebook be your lifestyle, okay? Um, adding friends to your friends list, whether or not that's adding three friends, five friends, right? Whatever. Making new connections. So sending messages to people, whether or not that's truly prospecting or just reaching out and saying hi. If you're not reaching out and doing daily happy birthdays, you're missing an opportunity to interact, okay? Um, why can't I think of, um, totally have lost my brain on um, daily actions. Um, <laughs> um, so some more of those, let's see. So posting, follow-ups, checking in on your eight-day detox people, all of those are your daily actions, guys. That's what you need to be doing. It's as easy as that. You guys, Heather is back from Dubai. Can't believe she's on. It's amazing. Um, we're going to make this really quick. I'm going to unmute her, Heather, really quick. And anything else that you want to say related to daily actions? I kind of goofed up our checklist, but um, anything else that you want to say in relation to taking action daily? I would say there is a checklist, so you don't have to memorize it all. You can literally print it off. I have laminated copies. If you need one, let me know. I'll get you one. But your daily actions are in, and you have to make sure that not making sure every single day you're doing income producing activity. That is your main focus. That's going to get the main focus of your time. The other thing that I feel like we're not utilizing, and we'll do a training on this in a little bit, you guys connecting your new people to people in the company that their story might relate to them. Lacey and Andrea got, I mean, Lacey, I think it was Lacey that Sheila put um, Andrea Holly on the phone with when Lacey was struggling with how to do this business on top of two full, three full-time other jobs, um, mm -hmm. businesses that Lacey was doing. Lacey and Andrea are, are as close as they come. They bounce, you know, business ideas off of each other. And you guys, this is a team. You can't just bring someone in this business and think that they're going to catch the vision. It, that didn't happen for me. I had to talk to several different leaders or be exposed to them, or I was on training calls with them. We're all going to learn differently. You have to grow yourself for what's to come. You have to become the person that you need to be for that next level of what you're wanting to be. So if you're not making time for the daily activities, how are you going to get to the bigger, bigger ranks in this company? I'll tell you right now, you're not going to. Mm -hmm. So get into income producing activity. Just like Andrea said, there's checklists in our support, um, support group. Um, you guys, and you have to break new people out. You don't, this checklist will do you no good if you're the only person doing it and you're trying to develop a team. Your newbies have to have this checklist too. Um, they don't know what they don't know. So get them plugged in as well and just get to work. But this daily checklist that Andrea is showing you right now, you can have this done in 30 minutes, 30 minutes a day to work your business. And literally, if you help have other people helping you do this, you're going to get to gold manager and you're going to, you know, match your monthly income. Most likely for a lot of people that work in, you know, the daily middle class, this is most people's average monthly, you know, average monthly or bi-weekly income. Mm -hmm. So how could that impact your lives? Exactly. Exactly, guys. And I'll tell you straight up is, is that if you aren't doing the daily checklist, you can't expect your people below you to do a daily checklist, right? Sure. Um, and so, you know, uh, abs absolutely, you've got to take daily action for sure. And um, just like Heather said, connecting your people that are wanting to work this business or thinking about doing the business with other people that they might connect with, whether it's personality wise, story wise, whatever, you need to be doing that. Messenger is a great way to do that. You can add somebody to the message, you know, and guys using the voice function in Messenger with that is phenomenal, right? Um, so at, but getting on the phone, you can all, absolutely always get on the phone with somebody too, right? But if you just want to add somebody to Messenger, you know, and so I don't know, you know, if I had somebody that um, was really looking at wanting to do this business, of course, I'd want to introduce them to Heather, right? And so I could add Heather to that chat and I could tell my person, hey, listen, I want you to meet my, um, my friend and my mentor and she's, 
you know, an executive with this company and she's doing great and she's a stay at home mom of blah, 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 right? Whatever. You, you know, you gotta, you gotta meet up with her. Right. And so I'd add her to the, to the message, to the messenger, um, to our chat and you edify, I would edify Heather. Right. I mean, I would just say, you know, she's really awesome. You're really going to love her. She's so down to earth and she totally was, you know, working two jobs and blah, 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 right? Whatever. You know, you edify that person. And that doesn't mean that Heather has to stay in that chat. She could hop in there and say a couple things or whatever and blah, blah, blah. And she could jump out if she wanted, right? And you could do that with multiple people. I mean, if I had somebody that was working crazy hours, um, I mean, I relate to that. But like Heather said, Lacey can relate to that. She's still working crazy hours, right? So Um, definitely that is a absolute great tool and we're not using it enough, um, by any means, uh, for sure. So that's it guys. I just wanted to do something quick tonight and, um, anybody have any, um, questions? So guys, if you go to becoming more and you search daily activities, daily checklist, you'll get, um, that's in the files. And then, um, there is one here. If you're a check things off kind of person, then, um, come on, what in the world? Then maybe you want that one that Tina had. If you're somebody that, um, I'm not so much of a checker offer, just kind of visual, then I've got a picture type thing too. You could print it, whatever you want, or you can have it on your phone. Okay. So whatever it is that works for you. Oops. Totally closed it out. So guys, um, that is all. Uh, let me see if I can get this screen back up big again. Um, and that's it. Anybody have anything else? Heather, you got anything else? You good? Um, I am good for right now. I know that I'll probably do something midweek or maybe just do a training or a recap, um, next Sunday on Dubai, but you guys print out the picture, put it on your vision board, get there um do it and the only way that you're going to do those things though is if you start to believe in yourself and when you start to believe in yourself you overcome those fears don't think that fear is something you're just going to overcome once um you're going to have to get uncomfortable in this business Mm -hmm. and usually that uncomfort comes from a fear but as soon as you start doing it repetitively then guess what you become confident in it you're never going to arrive past fear. It's probably going to look you in the face anytime you're at a new new destination. And practice makes perfect. And if you feel like you can't overcome it, then you need to reach out, reach sideways, downways, upways. It doesn't even matter. We've probably all been there. We've all done it. Um, but we're all here. And we don't know what we don't know. So we can't help you with the, that objection or help you with ways around that fear unless we know. So Andrea, great topic. Um, great check, you know, great pointers on how to overcome it. And thank you, Chandra and Lacey for being on the live. Yep. Exactly guys. It's what it takes. Plug it in, making it happen. We will chat again. And I think Heather, probably a great thing to do something midweek. I'm down for that. Um, in the evening and go over Dubai and get people excited or talk about whatever it is, you know, something in addition since it's going to be um mid month anyways you know maybe just a short 15 minute thing again sounds good